there, this is Patty Bennett with pattystamps.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I am going to share with you the fun new flip card dies from Stampin' Up! They're called Thinlet Card Dies. Let me show you how fun these are. Isn't that just the cutest thing? Wouldn't you love to get that in the mail and flip it open and find your little greeting on the other side? And this is a variation that I'm going to show you today as well, where this side actually opens up. So you can see how that has an extra element to it. Now you won't find these two products in the catalog. This is just a flyer that Stampin' Up! has released. I've had this flyer on my blog, you might recognize it. And it does show the two different products here that you can purchase. There is a label card thinlet set, which includes these dies, and a circle card thinlet set, which would include that set of dies. Now, as you know, Stampin' Up! sends the dies in their own little nice heavy plastic envelope, and then you open up your package and you'll see all of the dies that come in that set. And this larger piece is the one that you would need to actually make the card. And then all these other pieces are just little fun accessories that you can use to decorate your card or any other project. So this is the circle card set. And then there is also the label card set, which looks like this. So this outer piece is what you would use to make your label card, pop-up flip card, and then the other pieces are your accessory pieces. So those are the two separate sets that you can select from. So let me show you what I did using the circle card thinlet to make my cards here. So normally, when you have your card stock, your 8.5 by 11 card stock, to make a normal card, most people are going to cut that in half and fold each piece, and then you would get two cards out of that. So with these particular thinlets, you're going to need to cut it down a little bit. So instead of your 5.5 by 8.5 piece, you're actually going to cut it down to five and a half by six so that you're going to have this size. And you will find then that that lines up perfectly with the outer limits here of this die. And this is really handy to use your magnetic platform. And I know these have been on back order for a bit, but trust me, they're worth waiting for. And you'll you hear, you hear that click, isn't that great? It just clicks right on there and it just stays right on to your magnetic platform. One tip I want to give you about the magnetic platform, of course you do need to put your clear plate on top of it, but I was finding that in my classes and my workshops, some of my customers were forgetting that and so my dies have been cut into the magnetic platform. So I took a little piece of double stick tape, just small right there, stuck it on my platform and then stuck my clear plate down to it. So it's not like it's permanently adhered, but at least it sticks on there enough to remind people that you have to have that clear plate down there on top of the magnetic platform. Okay, so that's just a side tip there. So you would just line up that five and a half by six inch piece of cardstock on your magnetic platform on the clear cutting plate with this die on top and you would run that through your Big Shot. And that will give you this piece. So you can see that it's already got score marks on it and it's already got the circle cut exactly where it needs to be cut. So all you need to do then is bend this part back and then bend this part forward and that creates your flip card. Super easy. All the cutting, scoring and measuring is all done for you as long as you start with that piece that is five and a half by six inches. And then I thought, 
So what happens if you go ahead and leave your piece at the regular half size? Because I know they showed us this at convention, but I couldn't exactly remember what happened or how it came out or how that worked. So here's what I tried. I kept my half piece of cardstock and I fl slipped it through the die this way so that you can see I actually have this flap on top of that other piece. I don't want this to get cut off. And so then I put it back onto my magnetic platform, put my clear plate on top, and ran it through. And so then I get a longer piece. And I went ahead and folded, just like I did with the other one, on the two score marks. But then you're going to see just a faint line here, and it's because of the impression that this metal is going to leave on the back of that cardstock. So I used that line to fold and that gave me this fun extra piece. So let me show you the finished card again that I did with that. So you have your fun flip part, but this is that extra flap that happens when you leave your cardstock at five and a half by eight and a half. So isn't that a fun alternative? I really like that. This here, I just took my white chalk marker and I drew around the border there to give it a little definition. So this is actually a card that we're making at my upcoming Love to Stamp group meeting. So my demonstrators will be making this. It's the Coastal Cabana ink and cardstock. It's kind of a fun color for the holidays combined with the silver and the glimmer. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed those quick tips and I hope you'll enjoy your new flip dies.